Good everyone, uh, Ken here, 50 mil paint check, uh, back again, and today um, one of the things we're going to look at is how I made the blood for the saga guys, the Saxons, or um, their, their chieftain, or whoever you want to call them. He had uh, I had some blood dripping off his sword, and a bit of blood kind of draining out of the head, um, and it's the absolute simplest thing to do, um, and it's done by one of the things that just about every wargamer should have, hot glue gun. Um, great for basing uh, figures and sticking things together, but you can do so much more with a hot glue gun than, than you think. Um, in my Egyptian army that I've uh, just finished, I did the reins uh, for the chariot. So you think, well, you know, what am I going to use um, to do that? So what I do is I get, um, obviously you heat it up, get a bit of um, cardboard here, and you squish out a bit, and then you pull it along just touching the the top of your, your glue, or if you've got a trigger, I suppose it's different. But just pulling it along, touch, you know, do a big blob again, drag it along, and just keep doing that. And what you do, what happens is you start getting things like like that. And um, and then with the the strands, um, I, I when I get the right thickness, when I find the right thickness, I mean obviously you do a few. Um, then you cut them to size, glue them on the hands, and then to the horse. And you have a set of reins that um, actually have a little bit of bend in, in them as well. Um, I mean, you can make them as tight as you want. But what I mean is, if they get bumped, they don't they don't just fall off. They actually little they bend, and it's so easy to paint um, that it doesn't crack or fall off or anything. So then you've got reins for horses. Um, also, lava, lava, lava bubbles. If you want to do lava bubbles, once again, you just push a little bit of blob down. Um, and then you pull it up and you just let, let it drip until you have a circular bubble and then, and then pull your gun, aw gun away and you make lots of different size bubbles. Um, I've started a, a test figure with a, um, or test base with a figure that I, I don't want. It just come with some rubbishy bits and pieces. So, um, and there's a couple of bubbles. Um, once I've finished painting them, I'm all, I've also put a little bit of texture on uh, there, on the base. I'm using, what is it, Villaggio Earth Texture. And um, it's great for just the, the edges of the lava, the rock, um, rather than a smooth edge. So those white things, um, I will paint up as bubbles in the lava. Simple. Blue gun. And um, so to, to do the blood itself is... <coughs> grab the paint. Um, it's the same, same thing as you just push it down and drag out lots of bits of glue and then you look at the glue and you think well what's the right the right piece and it's you can just you can just peel peel bits up and oh, I don't know, where's, that? where's the camera so there so and then you'll just trim that back and I use a tiny little bit of super glue um, usually I'll make a dab of super glue on something else and then Maybe um, an old spear, um, metal spear, and, and just touch that and, and touch the end of a sword or something like that. And you can glue that on. And then you don't undercoat it with anything. You use Citadel Blood for the Blood God. Citadel Blood for the Blood God. And because it's clear, when you, when you paint that on, it just, it looks real. It looks bloody. <laughs> And um, and you put little, you can glue little bits of that on the ground, like in the in the grass, like so it's congealed blood. Um, you obviously you want to make sure you get the right kind of um, shape. You don't want too big a blob. But in the um, the one I just did, I took a little piece of this out and I put it into the grass, and then um, I painted it on that, and then I painted just a little bit of the grass itself around it, and then you have blood. It's as simple as, really easy. And like on this guy, the next shot I'll do um, is I'll attach some blood dripping off his claws. So um, I'll in the in the photos that come, um, I'll do that and I'll show a finished. Uh, I might even paint him. I don't know. I, I mean, this is out of my, my son's stuff, and it, it, I actually pulled it back out of the rubbish bin. So hey, 
I don't even know what they're supposed to look like. I might have to look up on the internet and see, see what it actually looks like. I don't even know what it is. I'm a historical wargamer. Anyway. So that's that. Simple, easy, blood. And you can have it dripping off hands. You could have it coming out of, like if a, a zombie. You could just attach a little bit like off a, a cheek that's been ripped out. You could attach it so it's dripping out. It doesn't have to be going down the skin, and just can, you can add more, um, just more texture to the uh, to the model, and, and it's it's fun and rather gory. So, cheers, guys! I uh, hope that helped. It was just a very short video. Um, later. So here's the uh, the finished uh, product. Um, the lava bubbles are there on just on the right side. There's about three of them raised up, as you as you would have seen on the first video. Uh, once they painted, they um, just put a little bit of gloss over them, and um, yeah, you've got the lava bubbling out. It's, it's as easy. There's one, two, three, and a little bit, of, little bit of blood dripping from its uh, mouth. It's not the best, but it will do. And here we have the the reins in the hand there, and through the horse. I think it just finishes that off. And uh, yeah, the blood off the sword and pouring out the neck. It's all just a bit of fun, but hey, that's what war games is all about. Cheers.